This is Pengurang Integrated Complex Progress as of May 2017. As of May 2017, the project overall progress has achieved 67% and accumulated more than 179,230,784 man-hours. Manpower at site is currently more than 48,000 personnel, with around 28,000 personnel are residing in the accommodation within rapid site. Refinery complex and tankage has achieved overall progress of 80.6%. In May, RFCC reactor and regenerator unit installation was completed. Propane propylene splitter dressing up activity and installation were completed on 6 May 2017. All 16 ARDS reactors were successfully installed on 5th May 2017 and accomplished delivery, dressing up and completed installation of largest CDU column in Malaysia on 10th June 2017. All three direct structure for SRU train sulfur gas was successfully erected. Refinery tankage accomplished delivery of three units of mounted bullet tank. Crude tank hydro test is ongoing and installation of light cracked naphthosphere tank shell course is ramping up. Steam cracker complex has achieved overall progress of 77%. Installation of 15 mounted bullet tank was completed with remaining of 3 unit to be installed. 5 out of 8 sphere tank hydro tests was completed and commenced with insulation works. Installation of dehexanizer column C104 was completed and concreting activity for cooling tower was completed. Petrochemical complex ahead of plan with overall progress of 34%. Focus remains on civil and foundation works after piling works completed while steel structure erection at site is ramping up. UNI has achieved 57% overall progress. Remain focus on steel structure erection and above ground piping installation. In May, installation of emergency diesel generator was completed. Critical path activity focus to achieve completion of 275 kV substation, transformer installation and cable pulling activity. The construction of main control building is ramping up to achieve partial handover and providing work front for ENI works inside the building. Raw Water Treatment Plant started its operation in May 2017 and ready to supply treated water for plant hydro testing usage. Stormwater Outfall has completed offshore ETPO pipe launching activity. Seawater is starting to fill up in the outfall section after temporary water bug was opened. Solid product jetty focus on jetty piling activity with 40% of total piling was completed. Pangarang co-generation plan focus on system handover and final preparation of first firing activity which targets in July 2017. Pangarang transmission line currently in testing and pre-commissioning stages after completion of all 165 transmission tower and 53 km stringing activity. Pangarang gas pipeline project 
as achieved completion of gas inactivity on 14th June 2017 and ready to supply natural gas to PIC. Regasification terminal has achieved ahead of schedule with overall progress of 90%. Tank number one has achieved pneumatic test completion, while tank number two has completed final inner shell course erection and commenced with closing activity of the tank opening. Pangurong Deep Water Terminal Tankage has completed its hydro testing activity for 21 out of 23 tanks and completed painting of 8 tanks. Marine facilities focus on pipe rack module installation works. Currently, 375 modules are completed.